Good morning, everybody. Today, we read a story called The Big Red Barn, and there were lots of different animals inside the farmyard. Today, you're gonna to be building a farm of your own. We have to make a big red barn. So what you need is a glue stick. You're also gonna to need to grab your big green piece of paper from inside of your packet, and attached to your green piece of paper, you're gonna have lots of different shapes and some farm animals. So make sure that you grab this out and take off all the different pieces that are on here. Let's look at some of the shapes that you should have for your barn really fast. The first shape that we have is a small rectangle. We have this strange shape. It's kind of like half of an oval. You should have one white square, a long, thin rectangle, a big red square, and you should have a shape that looks like this. Leon thought this was a triangle, but it's missing its point at the top. This is called a trapezoid. It's like a triangle that's just missing its top. So make sure that you have all of your shapes and all of your pieces, bring them back over to the table, and we're gonna get started on making a barn. The first part that we need for our barn is our big red square. Can you find your big red square? And we're gonna glue that onto our paper. When you put it onto your paper, you're gonna to wanna to leave some space above the barn to put on some of the other parts. Mom, we gonna put the square here? We're gonna put it right in the middle. Perfect, go ahead and glue it on. Perfect. What do you think we can do with the rest of these shapes? I don't know. Where can we put them? What do you think we can use for the barn's roof? We have so many different shapes. The barn's roof is going to be red. It's kind of that triangle one, because just like a roof is pointy. We're gonna use the next shape for the roof. Go ahead and glue it on, Leon. Where would the roof go? On the top. How are we gonna get into our barn? That's a little door. That would be a really small door for small animals. Do small animals live in a barn? Yeah. Some small animals do. But what about the horse and the pig and the cow? We could use this. We could use that. That's a big door. Mom. Okay, we have three shapes left. We have two rectangles and half of an oval. There's something that barns and farms have that hold our food. It's called a silo. Yeah, and you can build it just like that, Leon. Go ahead and glue that and on. Mommy, there's an open door. It goes like this. Oh, you wanna put the door on the silo? You can do that. There are lots of different ways that your child might put together their barn. Guide them a little bit, but let them use their creativity to put together their barn in any configuration that they want to. There's no right or wrong way to make your farm. And after you've glued on all of your shape pieces and built the barn, we're gonna have to have some animals live there. So you can get your animal pieces out. And we've been talking about a new number. It's the number five. So we have five animals. We have two baby chicks. We have a pig, a cow, and a horse. If, if you want to cut up your animals, you can use your scissors to cut the chicks in half or cut around the horse. You can put your animals anywhere in your farmyard for them to live. They can be on the barn, in the barn, or outside on the green pastures. If you wanna add more animals, you can draw any other animals that you want to for your farmyard. I hope you guys enjoyed using your shapes to make your barns today, and I can't wait to see how your barnyard turned out to be. We'll see you next time, bye.